morning yep it's another crisp sunny Sunday morning and today I had a little bit of a dilemma this morning because I, I commute on my 12.50 um, all week long and then when it comes to the weekend obviously I want to get some use out of my other bikes so I was um and ahhing whether to do whether to use the 400 the DRZ or my Gixxer project and then I thought well do you know what I haven't been out on the 1250 for a pleasure cruise for a hell of a long time now so here I am out on the GSX 1250 with the heated grips on and the handguards that stop the wind chill and a nice screen in front also to stop the wind chill so uh, whereas I have been a little bit chilly with um, bracing myself against the elements on the uh, the other two because obviously they're they're naked really um, it's nice to have the creature comforts I know a motorbike doesn't afford you a lot of creature comforts but um, yeah it's nice to be wrapped up against the, the elements and uh, staying warm for a change but one thing that hasn't changed is you we're going to exactly the same place we always go to Whiteways Calf uh, I'm going to get a quick cup of coffee forgot to have my breakfast this morning I don't know how you do that forgot to have my breakfast and when I started my journey the old stomach started grumbling and I thought mm, I haven't had anything to eat you know so I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee and uh, something to eat at Whiteways and then see where the road takes me really so let's see where we go. Yeah, I don't know what the last update I did on the 1250 was. Um, I know it's been a long while. Um, and all I've really done, gave it a good scrub down a couple of three weeks back. You wouldn't notice it. It's fucking filthy again. Um, and obviously ACF 50 that will try and keep it in some sort of order. Um, fitted a new chain and rear sprocket I think I've already said about that um, sprockets one tooth bigger has made an improvement um, I was always finding second gear was too high for trawling through traffic and first was um, I was at the other way around first was too high and second was too low so swapped it around and now it's just right in second um, just at those low revs don't feel as though you need to keep changing up and down so that was a good old result should have really gone for two teeth I think but um, yeah it's just enough there um, what else have I done oh, I had to renew the front brake pads um, I've put some HBC sintered brake pads on and fuck me phenomenal difference you only got to touch the lever and you fucking stood up. Um, yeah, so well worth the extra couple of quid. Um, apart from that, she's as she was, you know. Um, don't know what miles we've done now. Uh, nearly 25,000 miles in uh, it was two years last October. What we in now? January, February, March. So <laughs> fucking mine's gone now. Twenty nine months, twenty five thousand miles in twenty nine months. So just under a thousand miles a month. Um, and as I say, it's my regular commuter. But now I have got uh, the DRZ four hundred and the Gixxer six hundred um, on the nicer days. I've been taking them into work, especially when I haven't got to take a load of stuff in the top box, like the milk for the day and all the rest of it. So, uh, 
yeah, they've been getting trips out, so the mileage hasn't been shooting up as much as it was in the initial year. Um, but yeah, I've run it right the way through the winter this year, whereas last year, well, I say this year, it was last year, end of last year, last December, ran it all the way through the winter. Um, whereas the year before, any time there was a bit of shit weather, I was out in the car, so. So not as much of a lightweight this year. Um, it has led to some phenomenally frozen fingers. But then, again, look, you know, summer gloves, thin as anything, air holes all over them, um, heated grips on and hand guards, no problem at all. It's when I get out on the project bike and there's no such luxuries, the fingers get a bit crisp. But, uh, no, really enjoyed it so looking forward to the summer when you haven't got all this shit on the road and everything. I mean, there's some patches that are that dry you, you're all right on, but other bits catch you out. Um, perhaps the next bike I buy, I'll have traction control, give me a little bit of hand. Or I should just not give it too much throttle when I come out of corners. But there you go. Can't have everything, I suppose. So here we are, I'm assuming there's going to be a big turnout today, being it's um, another gorgeous weekend. Um, but then there might be quite a few of them that have needed to take their mummies out as it's Mother's Day. See that's feeling as though it wants to slide. Oh, there's a few here. I thought there would be more, actually. Stick it in the middle. And that was a very nice cup of coffee.